Okay, so with this one, we're looking at the ladybugs, and we're saying we have ladybugs are in a rotating disc that is spinning counterclockwise, and it is frictionless. So we have two ladybugs, A and B, and we want to figure out things about them. So the first thing we want to know is, is the angular speed of ladybug A greater than, less than, or the same as the angular speed of ladybug B? So what's nice about this one is it just kind of comes down to our definitions. We know that the angular speed is defined, this omega, our angular speed or angular velocity, is just how many radians we're covering for some amount of time. So this is kind of like when I had that bike wheel and I put that piece of tape on it. These ladybugs are not moving uh, like a along the wheel. They're, they're moving with the wheel, but they're not changing other than just spinning on the wheel. So the amount of radians that one ladybug spins is going to be the same as the other one spins because they're along the same radius. And this is kind of a bad drawing. Um, but because they're along the same radius, the amount that one spins is going to be the same as the other one. So they'll cover the same amount of radians in the same amount of time because they're along that same radius. So this is actually going to be the same because they cover the same radians in the same amount of time. That's not a great explanation. I'm kind of verbalizing my explanation, so I may not write them too much. So sorry about that. Okay, then we want to know, is the linear speed of ladybug A greater than, less than, or the same as the linear speed of ladybug B? So linear speed, that's the V. That's what we talked about. That's our velocity, so how much distance we're covering per time. So with this one, we're going to look at this and say, well, ladybug A is all the way out here. It is making, if we go like one full circle, it is making a physically larger circle than the other ladybug. It has covered more meters if we went to take it up. We kind of unwrapped that circle. I don't know if that's helpful, but it covered more meters than Ladybug B would in one full rotation. So it is covering more distance, but it's taking them the same amount of time. So Ladybug A is going to have a greater speed because it's covering more distance in the same amount of time. We could also say, well, we also have that equation where we kind of logic it out where we said, well, uh, theta is going to be, or sorry, our distance is going to equal theta times r right from the circumference equation. Uh, so we can also say, well, we have this velocity is going to be rotational velocity times r. So if our r is greater, we have the same rotational velocity, then v is also greater. So uh, ladybug a is at a further radius, so it also has a larger velocity. So I'm going to stop this video here, and then we'll move on to question b.